The Bible in Matthew 5, verse 45, So that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes his sun rise on the evil and on the good, and sends rain on the just and on the unjust. This verse is telling us that the Lord is kind to all by bringing the sunrise to warm and rainfall to refresh, whether a person does what is good or evil. Now, I would like to start by telling you to cherish those good times, those moments of sunshine, cherish them. But remember to stay faithful to the Lord. And equally, when that season of rain comes in your life, it may be unpleasant. It may be difficult, but remember God. Remember to stay faithful. And I'm sure we can all relate to the statement that life can be bittersweet. It has those moments where the Lord gives you that breakthrough. Those moments where you are blessed with the right thing at just the right time. But at times... Life will also hand you some bitter moments, some tough things that will bring you to your knees in tears and in pain. Now, I don't know about you, but I would rather have Jesus through the good and the bad. I would rather have Jesus Christ through the sunshine and the rain I would rather have Jesus all the time than to only go seeking for him when I need a miracle or when I need to be rescued. As believers, I encourage you not to treat God as though he is a fire escape. He's not there for your convenience. He's not there to be accessed in emergencies only. No, we need to strive to always, always, Be in fellowship with the Lord, regardless of whether we are in a season of peace or warfare. As a child of God, you should always be found to be a person of prayer. You should always be walking by faith and not by sight. You should be led by the Spirit and not by the flesh. And you should most definitely be found wearing the full armor of God always. I say this because Ephesians 6, verse 13, it says, Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand firm. Take note how the Bible says, in the evil day, not if, but in the evil day. The devil will almost certainly attack you with an evil day at some point in your life. Dr. Tony Evans described this particular day by saying, The evil day is when all hell breaks loose on you. This is a day when your faith is tested. A day when what's in you will be exposed. The evil day is when you're under spiritual attack. It's not a bad day at work. (laughs) It's not someone upsetting you, but it's a real, targeted, spiritual attack. And this day will bring out what's within you. Is it faith or is it fear? Is it God's word or is it your own wisdom? You will find out. And this day will bring out what's within you. Is it faith or fear? Is it God's word or your own wisdom? You will find out on that day. Saints of God, abide in the presence of the Lord always. Don't dabble and gamble with your life or your eternal destiny. The devil is out there, so we need to remain in Christ. We need to always be in Christ and be found to be obeying his word. Now let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, Your Word says You are the Alpha and the Omega, the Author and the Finisher, an Almighty God. 
You hold time in your hands. You hold the keys to life and death in your hands. And you certainly, most certainly, hold my life in your hands. I praise you, Lord Jesus, the precious Lamb of God. I pray in agreement with everyone listening as we ask for divine intervention. Father, intervene in our affairs and fight our battles. Remove the enemy before us, Lord. Break the chains that bind us, Father. I pray that we will experience your supernatural power in our lives, Lord Jesus. Help us to stand strong against the forces of darkness. Help us to stand firm in faith against every evil influence that targets our family. Help us to stand and believe your word, which tells us that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I speak and declare your word in Psalm 91, verses 7 through 11. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. I come against any evil forces that may try to attack my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Savior. I come against all principalities of evil that try to disrupt the peace which you have given me. I rebuke the forces of darkness that come to try and rob me of my joy and my strength. And I declare that I have victory through the power of the blood of Jesus Christ. May the Holy Spirit empower me always. May the Holy Spirit give me the strength and boldness to withstand anything the enemy throws in my direction. I trust in you, Lord Jesus, because you will cause my enemies, those who rise against me, to be defeated. As your word says, they will come out against me one way and flee before me seven ways. And that is not because I'm strong. But it is because you, Lord Jesus, are my shield and refuge. You are my protector. Lord, your word tells me in James 4, verse 7, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. I gladly submit to you, Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit would strengthen me to fight and never give in to the enemy. Stand with me, Holy Spirit, and let the joy of the Lord be my strength. Lord Jesus, through the power of your precious name and blood, I agree with your word in Isaiah 41 verse 10 that says, Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold your righteous right hand. I will praise you in advance for giving me the victory, King Jesus. Be glorified forevermore. I thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.